Oh, I didn't try the remote control. No. Off. On. Off. Mode 1. Okay. Mode 2. Mode 3. It's working. Okay. Now the color temperature. Nope, just this is the brightest of the LEDs, not the color temperature. Another fake future. Hello Hectubers and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video I'm gonna test this fake 200 watts solar street lamp. 200 watts. Okay, let's start. I got this very cheap solar street lamp from AliExpress and on the title it says 168 LEDs 10,000 watts but on the box says 200 watts so everything is wrong and I'm not gonna share the link so you can buy it because this is probably not good item and I'm gonna check it I'm gonna make some hacks and stay tuned you're gonna find out let's unbox this product what we got here we have metal screws the first holder for the street lamp this is the second part we have yes a remote control on off one two three three modes and the color temperature hmm i don't think so okay all right at the first look looking nice plastic with solar panel Let's count the solar cells. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 by 0 0.5 volts. That means that this will give around 5.5 volts from the solar. And how much milliampers? We're gonna find out. Okay. Also, we have 4. LEDs, cheap LEDs, it should be 50 watts each, four of them by 50 watts, 200 watts, and here I see, okay, that, that is a glass lens, I don't think so that they are so big, the chips, the lens makes to look like that, also here we have a peer motion sensor and one push switch okay turning on whoa it's bright this is the first mode the second mode the third mode and power off okay i assume that with these screws everything is placed in this section let's open now we have two four six eight screws okay now let's find out what is inside okay pretty simple design we have four LED chips they are connected in parallel okay, we have the peer sensor together with the charging circuit and believe it or not in this product they put two 18650 batteries and the nice thing is they are not soldered what this is not light it's pretty heavy Ooh, I need to wait. Let's grab the digital scale to 
turn it on and wait whoa come on buddy stay all right one more time 35 grams that is pretty good but how many milliampers we don't know all right whoa now I'm gonna test how much current it's giving this solar panel like this this go to the positive and this go to the negative and we have how much Six one hundred one hundred and twenty milliampers. That is when it's set on how many volts? Six point six volts is given maximum. All right, that's good. So far, the testing is good the batteries are not so bad the solar panel is giving around 6 volt and 120 milliampers that's nice but the fake are the LED chips that they are claiming that are this will be a light with 200 watts now I'm gonna test with my power supply this is my homemade digital power supply I'm gonna set like the lithium battery at 4.1 volts assuming that will be a fully charged lithium batteries okay connect the positive power the negative power and right now it's light it made medium this is high at 4.1 volts this thing is pulling when the LEDs are on 1.1 amp let's do the math so 4.1 volts by 1.1 amp is 4.5 watts what is this 200 watts 5 watts I can't believe it but it's working fine what you expect for six dollars plastic four LED chips two not very good lithium batteries a peer sensor six dollars they're pretty good at making high-tech quality products but let's try this I'm gonna try to remove one of the LED chips and see how it looks okay Here, this was the cover. Here is the lens. It's plastic. I think that that this was a glass, but it's plastic. And look, the LED chip. How many LEDs are inside? Three, four, five, six, seven. 12, 16, 17, 20, 20 micro LED LEDs. 
I'm gonna desolder one of the wires, the positive, and I'm gonna hook up my digital power supply directly to the chip and see how much current is pulling this chip. All right. So, does it worth it? I'm gonna calculate some things and tell you that for around six dollars you get not very good but useful two 18650 batteries with I don't know how much current capacity they have you get two batteries you got four two watts LEDs you got a peer motion sensor you got a solar there is it's, you got solar panel that gives 6 volts and 120 milliampers so if you want to make some cool project with solar panel with four LEDs peer motion sensor and batteries this is pretty good way to get electronic components all right one more thing let's say that one of these lithium batteries have 1000 milliampers capacity two of them will be 2000 milliampers and the solar panel is given 120 milliampers if this thing is on the sun for 10 hours will give 1200 milliampers that is not enough if this product drain the whole capacity of the batteries that means in two days maybe it will be fully charged needs bigger solar panel with much more current so probably in the future i will modify this solar street lamp adding better lithium batteries and that's it as i said for six dollars you will get very nice electronic components like four two watts leds led chips the motion sensor the lithium batteries and the solar panel all right that was all for today's video i hope you like it please share it and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video oh i didn't try the remote control no off on off mode one okay mode two mode three it's working okay now the color temperature nope just this is the brightest of the leds not the color temperature another fake future